The NYPD has expanded into a massive global anti-terror operation with surveillance and military capabilities unparalleled in the history of local U.S. law enforcement. The NYPD is the biggest police force in the country, with over 34,000 uniformed officers patrolling New York's streets, and 51,000 employees overall, more than the FBI. It has a proposed budget of $4.6 billion for 2013, a figure that represents almost 15% of the entire city's budget. What has the NYPD been doing with all that cash and manpower? In addition to ticketing minorities for standing outside of their homes, spying on Muslims who live in New Jersey, abusing protesters, and gunning down black teens over weed, the NYPD has expanded into a massive global anti-terror operation with surveillance and military capabilities unparalleled in the history of U.S. law enforcement. In an email published by WikiLeaks, an FBI official joked about how shocked Americans would be if they knew how egregiously the NYPD is stomping all over their civil liberties. But what we already know is bad enough. Here's a roundup of what the department has been up to lately. Last fall, Mayor Bloomberg famously bragged, I have my own army in the NYPD, which is the seventh biggest army in the world. So far he's refrained from imposing military rule on the city, at least in the white neighborhoods, but the department nevertheless boasts an impressive arsenal. Police Commissioner Ray Kelly told 60 Minutes that the NYPD could shoot down a plane last year. When asked for details at a press conference, Mayor Bloomberg basically told reporters to fuck off, saying, the NYPD has lots of capabilities that you don't know about and you won't know about. The New York Times has reported that the department's harbor unit has six submarine drones, four cost $75,000 and the two others cost $120,000, according to the Times. They are developing a portable radar that can see under clothes in order to search for weapons. Militaristic Hercules teams are deployed to random parts of the city armed with automatic weapons and body armor. Their explicitly stated role is to terrify people. In a piece by Popular Mechanics, Detective Abadni Fs described the unit's job thusly, the response we usually get is, holy shit, that's the reaction we want. We're in the business of scaring people. We just want to scare the right people. The force operates in 11 foreign cities, including London, Lyons, Hamburg, Tel Aviv and Toronto. This year they added Kfar Saba, Israel, to their list of conquests, there, the NYPD has its own office complete with a department insignia and a banner inside which reads, the New York Police Department. The greatest police department in the world. NYPD officers have flown to Afghanistan, Egypt, Yemen, Pakistan, and Guantanamo, where they have been known to conduct special interrogations, according to New York Magazine. Domestically, the NYPD collaborates with the FBI in Washington. Under Commissioner Kelly's watch, and with the blessing of the CIA, the force has also built a hidden counter-terrorism bureau, complete with a global intelligence room and a security area protected by ballistic sheetrock. In a Pulitzer Prize-winning investigative series the AP revealed the NYPD surveillance program that makes the FBI and CIA look like civil liberties crusaders. To recap, for years, the department has been monitoring mosques, restaurants where Muslims eat, Muslim student organizations, and coming through the electronic communications of Muslim students at more than 13 colleges. The department insisted that their blanket surveillance of whole communities based entirely on their religion was perfectly legal. When asked about criticisms by college presidents about department surveillance of Muslim student websites, Bloomberg said, among other dismissive things, I don't know why keeping the country safe is antithetical to the values of Yale. Any time that the department is criticized for their civil liberties abuses, the mayor and police commissioner solemnly point to the number of terror attacks they've foiled since 9-11, 14, a number trustingly repeated in the media. But ProPublica investigative reporter Justin Elliott went through the trouble of looking into the administration's claim and found that of the 14 successes cited, only two could be credited to the NYPD. In the other instances, the plots were stopped by other agencies, or weren't serious threats at all, or were instigated by NYPD informants providing alleged terrorists with money and bomb-making materials. Meanwhile, a deposition on the Muslim surveillance program revealed that in six years of spying, the NYPD's demographics unit had not come up with a single lead. The NYPD has used counter-terrorism tactics including monitoring, 
targeting and mass arrests against activists involved in nonviolent social movements across New York City. In the decade after 9-11, Americans' privacy rights have been violated in a variety of technologically intrusive ways, with the help of everything from spy drones to wiretaps. But few programs package together so many potential privacy infringements as ambitiously as the Domain Awareness System DAS, created by the NYPD in partnership with Microsoft. 24-7, DAS collects footage from CCTV cameras all over the city, checking the information against multiple databases, arrest records and 911 calls, and running it through license plate treater software that can track the movement of cars, and even take radiation readings. The department decides what information to archive and for how long. The information is analyzed at a centralized location in downtown Manhattan. The DAS system is the logical culmination of a years-long campaign to load up Manhattan with surveillance cameras. Impressed by how thoroughly the City of London tracks the movements of its citizens, Mayor Bloomberg initiated the Lower Manhattan Security Initiative in 2005, expanded to Midtown a few years later, whose primary objective was to cover Manhattan, underground and above ground, with cameras.